Hi everyone, welcome to the dark side of YouTube. If you don't know me, my name is Isassin. I am a rapper slash producer and average music enjoyer, of course also known as Asian Tom Holland. In this occasion I'm gonna pull up to nearest restaurant. Why restaurant? Because they closed the strip club. So, today I'm gonna shoot my opinions on new record by one of the most popular rappers from United States of America, The End of an Era by Iggy Azalea. So, without any further ado let's get started. Iggy Azalea sounds freer than ever in, The End of an Era, perhaps her last album for a while. Sirens, will make you want to breakdance and put respect on Iggy's name. I absolutely love that Iggy decided to open up this album with the high-octane, energetic, hard-hitting, Sirens. While I think the song's biggest strengths are its super catchy hook and enjoyably tumultuous beat, don't sleep on Iggy's confident, heart-pumping, appealing raps. I'm not sure I would brag about being a strip club, strip clubs are dirty. There's so much to love about, I am the strip club. Personally, I like how Iggy effortlessly merges hard-hitting raps with a runway instrumental. I also like how she hits us with lyrics that horny, frugal, and one women men can appreciate. Things definitely get lit in, Pillow Fight. Don't let the title fool you, Pillow Fight, is harder than the last stage of Super Mario Bros. 3. Throughout the track, Iggy brashly reminds us that she has zero problems putting folks that want to talk trash about her in their places. What I love about this song is that it features very consistent flows, feverish deliveries, super catchy raps, and a beat that will make you want to shake your imaginary dreads. Brazil, might give you seizures, but it's too explosive of a track to ignore. If you don't believe that Iggy Azalea has improved as a rapper, listen to, Brazil. Her flows, her swagger, her punchlines, and her confidence are all top-notch in the song. What's even more impressive is that Iggy does so well over a bipolar, futuristic, Jumanji beat. Either Iggy wants to go to jail or a really strong cocktail. Sex on the Beach, is one of those pop-hop tracks that I would love to hear at an outdoor bar. The song features a colorful instrumental, a very memorable, sensual hook by Sophia Scott, and rugged raps about unfiltered romantic endeavors by Iggy. The combination results in a track that I think even Iggy haters can appreciate. I think that women rappers are overhated. On social media, ladies like City Girls, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Lizzo, and more get judged harsher than their male counterparts. One of the most hated woman rappers in the game is Iggy Azalea. The sad thing about Iggy is that she seems to occasionally absorb the negativity that comes her way. I really hope her stepping away from the music scene isn't because of the bullying that she has endured these last couple of years. Anywho, if the end of an era is Iggy's last album for a while, she definitely leaves us with a body of work that effectively shows why she is a one-of-a-kind rapper. I wouldn't be surprised if Iggy Azalea created this whole album while on vacation in Cabo. The album boasts very energetic instrumentals, exciting hooks, and raps that promote living life freely. While I've heard tons of people say that Iggy came into the game sounding like other rappers, I think this particular album will show many that she has been able to create her own sound. To be more specific, I haven't quite heard another rapper blend rugged raps with both EDM and pop vibes like her. While I clearly don't think this album is great there are moments in which I feel the album sort of lags along, I do think it's one that advocates how great it feels to be in a good place, yes, I do think that Iggy is in a good place right now. I bless this album with the score C, feel free to comment down below what's your takes and perhaps you can recommend me track or album that I can review in the next video, hit the like or dislike button to rate this video. Thanks for watching and please don't cry, I'll see you in the next video. Bye nerds.